everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry just for the smile that I have right now. I'm smiling because this is exactly what this car does to you. When you are in these cars and you drive around in them, they are so different than any other car out there. The packaging, the way they made the inside so big for such a small little car. And when you drive this, of all the cars that we drive, this is in the top five most thumbs up version of any automobile I ever take anywhere. So uh, we're gonna take some time and look at this special edition. It's called a Balmoral edition. We're gonna see some of the stuff that you get with it. It is so cute inside, it is awesome. Uh, not to mention the cool convertible top and the wheels and tires and the handling and what have you. Let's take a few minutes, we'll walk around, see what you're getting and figure out how to way to get it in your garage. All right, I'm sorry I keep smiling, but I can't help myself. These wheels and tires and the flares that are on here look so good. These are mini light replicas, right? With high speed Yokohamas on there. The flares look great. The paint is fabulous. It's British racing green with a red top and a tartan green and red interior. When we get inside, I get so excited about the inside because it's even nicer than the outside, even though the outside is spectacular. But I want to show you that this car has been repainted. It has a new interior. It's been restored. It has some great, great pieces in it. So you're getting like a car. You could drive this car to work. You could drive uh, to a winery. You could go and enjoy this car all the time. And Full-size adults fit inside of it. And when we get in there, I'll show you that as well. All right, so how good is the paint? Well, the only way to really know paint is to look at video, right? This pinstripe is so nice looking. Is really to do that. Because pictures can show you anything you want, but let's look at this for a second. Come on up here. When you can read everything in there crystal clear, right? Crystal clear, every letter, all in there, supposed to be that way. If it's blurry at all, that's decent paint. It's not great paint. This is much nicer paint than the factory paint was originally. Much nicer. We might call a car like this over restored because it's really called over restored because it's nicer than it was when it was new. Is the Mini Cooper the most well packaged car ever built? I think so. Look back here, right? They got the battery back here, which gets a lot of the weight of the front out and puts it back here at the bottom of the floor, making it even lower. It's got a full size spare tire in here, right? Not a donut and storage for some soft bags as well. What's not to like? And if you need even more luggage, there's a whole back seat back in there. This is uh, packaging uh, at its finest. All right, so how does the Mini Cooper make the interior so big of a car? Well, this is how they do it. They are experts in packaging, all right? And here's what they do. Keep in mind too, this is the fuel injected version of this, all right? And when we're talking about cars as they get later on, the fuel injection is a nice feature. This even has the water shield still in front of it. A lot of those were removed, okay? But the radiator is not in the front, it's to the side. So they're able to move the engine even more forward, giving you more room inside there. Everything's packaged nicely in here. And it's also easy and accessible to get to. If you want to tinker with your own car, this is the perfect car to do that in. It's not uh, buried down below. It's not covered by shields and things like that. Everything is right there. It's super cute, sounds great, runs well. The fuel injection adds a whole nother level of, uh, of ease of drive. And then just clip it like that and you're good to go. All right, so you're smiling walking up to this awesome, awesome car, but however, once we get inside, it gets even better. All right, I'm in, right? Six foot one, plenty of room inside here. Uh, look at how much, it just, I don't know how they package it all in here, but it is amazing, amazing what they do. Ventilation system, upgraded digital audio, awesome, awesome wooden stainless three-spoke wheel. Uh, it's a 180 kilometer speedometer there. I wish it was 180 miles an hour. Maybe we stuffed two V8s in this tiny car. I was just kidding. Anyway, this makes plenty of power. But what you'll love most about it is it just handles like no other car out there. It's just known for handling. That's why the Italian job has all the minis in it. They just do a great job. There's plenty of room in the back for people back here. And this also has uh, what I think is probably the originator of the dual pane sunroof. And when you look at it through here, it is enormous. Look how much room is here. The sunroof is like the whole length of the whole roof of the car. And it's such a cool piece. I love it in red. It just matches everything inside here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And makes me just smile just talking about it. All right, so we close up this video. This might be the nicest video we've ever had, especially color combination and things like that. When you look at these on the road, and so few are in this country, we only import uh, the left-hand drive ones because it's just easier for driving, it's easier for uh, titling and everything like that. 
when we import them, you get a real title, you get a real car. We've done all of the hard work to get these in the country. That's why so many people buy them here. When they're restored, they're great. And then you throw in the fact that this has that awesome convertible top, power convertible top, right? The great tartan interior, full gauges, nice digital sound system, great wheels and tires. It is just an awesome, awesome buy, offering you a lot, a lot of smiles. Anyway, call us 301. 816 1000 will tell you all about this Balmoral Edition Mini. And if you would, please don't forget to like the video down below, share it with your friends, and uh, subscribe to the channel. We got new content coming out all the time. All right, we're off in the Mini Cooper Balmoral Edition. Sunroof wide open. Tiny bit of hair that I got left blowing in it. I'm afraid it blows out. Anyway, why do you buy this car? First off, it's great looking. It makes you smile just talking about it. Secondly, you buy it for this. Because you can go on a back road like we're going on today and just wheel around the road. The car doesn't roll around. It's got the nice size wheels and tires on it. The interior is awesome. Six one. look how much room I got in here. I'm having a great time rowing the shifter up and down. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what I say when I say get a classic car, put on some music, man. Go for a drive, turn off your Twitter feed, your Facebook feed, your feed of all feeds. Shut it off. Put some good music on, whatever your genre might be, and go for a drive, man. It'll give you this. You'll feel much better. And off you'll go. Anyway, thanks for driving with us today. I hope the T wasn't too much in the shot. He doesn't like to be in the front of the camera for some reason, but anyway, we'll get him comfortable someday. See you on the next test drive.